Hey folks, Mr. Hartzler here. In this video, I wanted to show you how to make part six from activity 5.5. This is for my intro engineering design class. That's the part up on the screen right here. First thing you have to do is you have to start a new part. You have to start a sketch. I'm going to choose my XY plane. I need to use the rectangle tool. I need to make a rectangle six by four. If you're wondering where I'm getting these numbers from, it's from the activity. Uh, our school is a project lead the way school. So I've got some of the plans from them. I put this up on classroom for my students. Can't show you guys because that breaks copyright law. I am a six by four and I extrude half an inch. Zoom out so I can actually see what I'm doing. I now need to start a sketch on the front of this and I'm going to put a circle somewhere over here. It is 0.3 diameter. I now need to dimension that circle. So I'm going to click its center to the bottom line. That is 0.5. And I need to do center. Not there. I need to go center to my left side. And that is also 0.5. So I know where I am in the X axis down here and in my Y axis. And I know the size of the circle. I'm now going to extrude that. And uh, they don't tell you how to do this in the video or in the stuff online. So I'm just going to go 0.3. That looks about right according to the pictures. Now under the 3D model tab, because I already have a 3D shape there, I'm going to hit rectangular pattern. I need to click on my feature. So I clicked on my feature. And now I have to pick a direction. Direction 1, let's have it be this. Direction 2 is going to be up and down. You notice that one went below my part instead of up on my part. So I'm going to switch that rotation, so now it's going up. I need to be six this way in my X axis, and I need to be four in my Y axis. Hit OK, and now they're all there. All of them are exactly where they need to be. They're spaced out nice and evenly. A lot of my students will do this when they're putting uh, maybe a wire cage around something or a fence. They'll do a lot of these and do a rectangular pattern to maybe copy it so it goes around their entire yard, something like that. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please click that like button. And one of my students just told me I should tell you to smash the subscribe button. So make sure you do that. And if uh, you need anything else from me or have any questions or comments, please list those down below. And I do read those. I do get back to people. Um, even if it's not right away, maybe I'm thinking up of something uh, to respond all witty-like. Or I'm just trying to come up with a video and use that to answer your question. So I hope this was helpful, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.